All right, guys, so I found an engine machine shop that's going to go ahead and fix up my cylinders for me. Really, the problem is we want to get rid of that ring that's down there in this fourth cylinder here, closest to the flywheel. The other ones really aren't that bad, but we're going to go ahead and get them all bored. And so before I can do that, I need to strip down the block to be completely bare. So we're going to take the flywheel off, take the starter off, take this thing off, um, take the fuel sending unit off, distributor off, oil filter off, crankshaft pulley off, and then the um, camshaft out, crankshaft out underneath. Um, then the oil, uh, I think this is called the oil pump, take that off as well. Basically the block is going to be stripped down to nothing. So first thing I'm going to do is take this pulley off. So the tool I'm using here to get this pulley off, also called a harmonic balancer, is a pulley removal tool or a harmonic balancer removal tool. This comes in a little kit with some other stuff. I'm actually borrowing this one from Rachel's dad, so that's kind of him to let me borrow it. Thank you very much. But, uh, so you get three bolts in here. And then the middle of this, this whole pulley's just held on by friction. So you do this big bolt through the middle of your removal tool, which is threaded, and then it will push on the center of this well, the bolts that are threaded in pull this bad boy out. So that's what I started doing here. It's kind of tough to get started at first, especially as you start trying to really put some torque on it. It'll just start turning on you. Let me show you guys a little hack to get around that. I've got my little ratchet extender here. And I'll just put that guy through there. So then whenever I'm torquing on that, I'm just holding it this way to keep it from turning with this. So that's how I'm getting it done. You can see I've already got it started there. Just got to get it the rest of the way off now. But now that I'm thinking about it, with as much force as this is taking to get it off, and I know it's been on there a while, it's kind of stuck and rust and everything, but now I'm just wondering how the heck am I going to push that back on? So that'll be another project in and of itself alrighty guys well we got her off you can see there and let me tell you all she's on there pretty good we've got plenty of a uh, little bit of surface rust here to clean up inside of that's pretty clean though as it should be yeah I got, got lots of little surface rust gonna clean up let me tell you all the threads for those bolts in here. A little bit rusted, had to clean that out a little. Yeah, we'll just clean this bad boy up, get the rust off, repaint it, it'll be good to go. So now that we've got that off, we can go ahead and take this cover off for the rest of the gears in here from the camshaft to the crankshaft. All right, next thing we're going to need to do is take this timing cover off here. Inside there's the gear from the camshaft and the crankshaft that are together. So we'll get this cover off, then we'll be able to get at those. We got all the bolts out of there. It really wasn't that difficult. They weren't torqued in very hard, so I'll keep that in mind when I'm putting them back on. One thing I do want to note is underneath here, um, you'll have your gasket for your oil pan I've already taken mine down whenever you're about to take this thing off it might rip the front part of this gasket with it so what I did was I took mine off first so you might be able to save that gasket if you can if not you can always just replace the gasket not a big deal so now we're ready to pry this cover off Alright guys, so we got the cover off. You can see how nice and clean this gear is compared to this one right here. 
You can look at the back of the cover here. You can see it doesn't look that clean. Little bit of remnants of rust that was kind of in there, guys. Not what you like to see. So looking at this one, it's like, ooh, that looks a little rusted. We might need to replace that. But actually, I started looking closer at it, and uh, if you take a paper towel, you can just scrub that right off. That rust is actually not from this gear. What I think it was from was that pulley that might have just it's over time got inside there. Because you look at the back of this pulley, guys. That's where the rust came from, right there. I can tell you that. So, I'll just need to clean this guy up a little bit. But other than that, next step is going to be actually getting the uh, camshaft out. Which I need to get the distributor out first, actually. Then we'll get to that. Something to show you guys on the distributor here is that, see right in here? There's a little cut mark where they lined up the distributor with the block of the engine. So we'll make sure we try to line that up when we're putting it back in. Alrighty, we got the distributor out here guys. So now we can go ahead and take out the camshaft here. Now for this one, where these gears line up here, there is a dot right there that matches up with the dot on this one as well right there I believe hard to see kinda yeah right there so then when you turn them together it exposes uh, these bolts and then you unscrew those bolts in there and then you're able to carefully get the camshaft out I believe Alright guys, you can see I've got the bolts in there lined up with the holes. We've got the marks right there lined up. So now I'm going to go ahead and take those bolts out of there and there. <clears throat> then we'll see if we can take this bad boy out. Okay, those bolts are actually really easy to loosen up. But then they're still in that hole. If you want to know a trick for getting them out, have yourself a little magnet stick here. And then you can just stick it in there and it'll grab them right out. There you go. Now we can just start pulling this out. Now I am going to use both hands for that because I do want to be careful. Alrighty guys, here we go. I found something in there. Hmm, maybe I'll turn this upside down so I can get a better view of the camshaft on the inside, on the bottom half. Alrighty guys, I figured out what was causing it to get stuck right here, not letting it get out all the way. Let me show you. If you look down in here, you see that uh, little spring-loaded clip right there? Well, that is to control the... Uh, fuel cinder right here and you notice when I pull it out that lobe gets stuck hitting that so what I need to do is take out this fuel cinder first and then we should be able to get it out of there guys so let's do that I got the fuel cinder pump off right there you can see the bolts for that actually weren't torqued on too tight here's where it was so not too bad with that. Now we should be able to get this bad boy the rest of the way out. Alright, so very carefully. We don't want to mess up the bearings. Oop. I see what they meant about the bearings now. Boy, that is kind of tough to line up as you're pulling it up. There we go. That's really the tough one right there. Let's 
Only thing that's kind of weird is on this bearing right, or this part right here that goes into the bearing, it's not 100% straight on that flat surface. Other than that, it looks in pretty good shape, guys. No problems here. You can see where the uh, rust was kind of on this one. I mean, the piece itself isn't rusted. It's just the rust from the other parts that got on it. That's pretty good, though. So we got the camshaft out. We've got it over here now. What I did want to show y'all over here on this part, let me turn the light on. See that stuff in there? Let me show y'all. Look at that. That is not what you want going on inside here. Some of that might have actually been for me using the flex zone now that I think of it. Anyways, we're going to get that cleaned out, guys. Don't worry. And that is where we are going to end this video, guys. I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to follow the whole project here, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And coming up next in the next video, we'll be removing the oil pump, the crankshaft, flywheel, getting it all the way stripped down to the bare block. So stay tuned for that. But until then, I will see you next time.